largest soft recorded music in the world. Right? And then, <laughs> anyways, uh, Miss Sharon Nottleson, no, it's been changed to you. Yes. Okay. Well, Mr. Dennis is going to bring us the story time. Out there, and that was kind of fun. And 
He goes, now take a deep breath, we're going to go underwater. And I go, okay, no. And then very soon he goes, now I've been taking a deep breath. Ooh, ooh. Like this, and I go, I didn't want to let any air out. I was almost ready for another breath again, you know. And he goes, he goes, he's down his walk. Like this, it was kind of cool down there, you know. I'm not sure how he, he go. My ears were kind of getting pressurized. And I'm looking at his gravel on the bottom. I didn't see any fish, but some big rocks and stuff. And uh, he swims down, he, he kind of squats down in, in the gravel and shot up to the top. And well, he shot up. I didn't. My, my hands are wet then. They just went like this. I'm on the bottom. And I'm going, oh no, you know, I can't swim. You know. And I, then I notice I'm going toward the rapids. I mean, I was going down, downstream. And I'm, I'm trying to dig my feet in, and I go, well, that's not working. So I kind of went down, and I'm like this, and I really had to breathe. You know, I got no, hold my breath too much longer. But then God did a miracle for me. And I didn't realize it until years later. But it's kind of like Jonah when they threw him off the boat and he went clear down the bottom of the, of the ocean. You could see the mountains and stuff down there. And, but he still stayed alive. I knew I had to take a breath. I could wait. It was a, kind of a weird thing, you know. I mean, I didn't have to breathe right then, although I needed, I knew I needed to. But I go, but. My fear was not to breath anymore, but I was getting, going to get lost. I kept sliding down. I grabbed a hold of a big rock and I'm hanging on to it. And I'm looking around and I see somebody swimming across. I go, well, maybe they'll notice me and rescue me. And they swam across and, and they had high rocks on the other side of this, of the, of the pond river, the white area of the river. And people were jumping off the high rocks and you saw the bubbles as they Went into the water and watching that. And I guess I see another rock over toward the shallower side. And I, so I see if there's a way. I kind of raised up and I scrambled over through this, the gravel and the sand on the bottom and I grabbed over that rock. And uh, I knew, well, I went back a little ways, you know, but not too far. And I'm looking around behind me, you know, didn't see the rapids yet where I'd get lost. And, did that again over to another rock and did it another, like this and I'm kind of work, trying to work my way toward shore. And I go, well, you know, I guess eventually I'll make it. But I, every time I did that, you know, the rock that I just left was kind of a ways up there. Because <laughs> I was kind of sliding back. Well, I finally got over there and all of a sudden I felt something on my arm like this. I was pulling on me. And I go, but like this, I hang on to the rock and I'm just rip loose. And I pop out of the water like this. It was my mom. She's she was still dressed. She's in there. She's why didn't you just stand up? <laughs> and I'm going, oh my like goodness, I'm stood up. I don't know if I'm going this deep. I worked my way all the way over to the shallow water. And and I just didn't stand up because I didn't need to breathe right then, you know, and I like well I that's shallow. <laughs> so she's, she's, her pants are all wet and she's angry at me, you know. And, uh, so I, I didn't swim that day. I, I went to a concrete pond. <laughs> and we swam in the concrete pond when I finally learned. But that's the way it was. But you know, <laughs> what it is though, I wasn't afraid of, what I should have been afraid of is drowning. You know, I was underwater for I don't know how long, you know, maybe hours. No, I wasn't hours. <laughs> no, it was probably, you know, several minutes, I'm sure, if not, you know, eight or, you know, ten minutes. But, you know, I was so afraid of getting lost that I didn't even recognize the real danger. And that's the way it is in our religious life. Sometimes you see something that seems really important in the Bible. And it doesn't matter what it is, if it's become so important that you focus on that, that you lose your focus on Jesus. And Jesus is what's important in the Bible. And everything else becomes a distraction away from us. So remember that. When you're reading the Bible, remember the most important thing in the Bible is Jesus and the relationship you can have with Him. 
and don't worry about all the other little distractions it can have. Let's bow our heads for a quick prayer. Dear Jesus, I want to thank you for being in our lives, for the love you share with us and show to us and give to us, and the, the miracles that you do in our lives so that we can keep our lives closer to you. Help us to be ever mindful of you in all these things. For Jesus' sake, amen. Amen.